Hi everyone. So, um, there are three more things that I feel that God wants me to address. And I should have addressed them in part one and part two and I didn't. And so I want to be very thorough with this and make sure I hit every single point. So we have three more things that we do have to discuss. So I'm going to just make this like a separate video. Instead of a part three, I'm just going to make it a separate video. Um, so another thing is people who love and worship themselves. They admire themselves. Um, now, there's nothing wrong with appreciating what God has given to you personally. And there's nothing wrong with looking in the mirror and saying you like what you see. There's nothing wrong with that. But you can take it to a very unhealthy level. Okay? There's nothing wrong with um, liking a certain hairstyle. You know, liking to wear a certain amount of makeup. You know, uh, to a point. Uh, liking jewelry liking certain clothes or shoes. There's really nothing wrong with that. However, uh, there are people out there who love themselves, they worship themselves, and they admire themselves, just like Satan did. Satan loved himself, he worshipped himself, and he admired himself. And it was to the sin of pride and vanity. And I can't get over how many people in this world today are actually into the sin of pride and vanity and they absolutely love worship and admire themselves and they do so to an extreme that they feel the need to post selfies of themselves all over social media in various poses um and they're just like satan yes that's right i will say it again they are just like satan because they are gloating over themselves, just like Satan did. And uh, so we can take our appearance to a very unhealthy level. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with taking pictures of yourself and your family to put on, put on Facebook or put on Instagram just to say hi to your friends and family or whatever. But let me tell you something. If you want to find out if someone is really doing this for the wrong motives and they're really just admiring themselves and they want others to admire them zoom in on their eyes zoom in on their eyes their eyes will sometimes give it away not always but not always but but most of the time their eyes will tell it all uh, they will usually have a very gloating arrogant expression on their face when they're taking their selfies um, it's pretty easy to spot. So let's not be prideful and arrogant and love and, and worship and admire ourselves because that's not what we're here for. Um, people who commit this sin will be in Gehenna for sure because they're just like Satan. They'll be in Gehenna. Um, now they're is another group of people that God wants me to address, and that's people who don't put their security in Christ and who are very insecure. You can tell when people are insecure. Okay? Now, there are some people out there who actually think they are beautiful and they want other people to know it. But then there are people out there who don't know if they're beautiful or not. They don't know. In fact... They, they doubt that within themselves. And so they go out there and they get a bunch of tattoos. They color their hair weird colors. Rainbow bright colors. They get lots of piercings. Um, they put weird things on themselves. Horns, pointy ears, weird things. They color their skin. Okay. Um, there is a group of people out there who is very insecure and it shows and that's the only reason why people alter their appearance like that because they're insecure and they're not putting their security where it belongs in christ if they were they would accept themselves for who they are and they would shine with what they've been given they would be themselves they would not have to alter themselves 
these people's insecurity is not going to get them into heaven. Satan is the one making them insecure. Satan is the one making them alter their appearance. Okay, so we need to be aware of those people. If you're in that group of people, you need to pray that God grants you some self-esteem. Because insecurity is, is not good, and it doesn't look good to anybody else either. So, the last thing I want to talk about on this video, because it's kind of short, and I want to lengthen it a little bit, because there is one more thing that I want to talk about on this video. And that is people who want and desire for people to envy or be jealous of them. Now, this also comes from a place of insecurity, okay? These people who are flaunting their lives are insecure. These people who constantly have to put videos up about what they're doing, where they're going, uh, how much fun they're having, these people are extremely insecure because if they were really secure with themselves, they wouldn't have to do that. They would just enjoy their life and they wouldn't have to show it for anyone, okay? So, Jesus is upset with these people who want to make other people jealous and envious of them because this is a sin. You're causing, you are causing someone to sin when you're trying to get them to be envious or jealous of you. And, of course, the other person shouldn't be sinning. They shouldn't be jealous or envious. But you are tempting them. You're tempting them is what you're doing. You're tempting them. And uh, the way they choose to respond is up to them. And whether they choose to sin and be envious or jealous is up to that person. But you, you are an instigator. You're a contributor. Because you are trying to get that person to sin. And Jesus is going to hold you accountable for that. You're not getting away with it. You may think you're getting away with that, but you're not. So we don't need to be trying to make people jealous or envious of us. We should wish for other people to be as happy as we are. And uh, we should wish for others good things. We should not wish that other people were jealous or envious of us. That is not godly. That is not godly behavior at all. So, uh... I think I have covered everything I want to cover in this video. Um, I am going to be putting up a, another video on something else. So I will see you guys soon.